Thank yes, you. Sir. Okay. So um, I'm going to present um, our research. This is actually uh, from the National University in Laguna and, and from the Philippines, but I'm currently uh, teaching here in the US. Um, the title of the research is School Leadership Experiences of Secondary School Principals in a VOCA Environment. And the purpose is to develop a VOCA leadership theory. So um, the corresponding author is Dr. Naro Navarro from the National University Laguna. So a brief background of the study. So um, we know that leadership has so many dimensions. So we have strategic leadership, focus on teaching and learning, developing self and others, and of course, like building connections. But there are also challenges that our leaders are facing every day. So we have like the dynamic and profound changes in education. And of course, we have the VOCA environment, which is the volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous environment. Um, a bigger part of the study, why this was uh, conducted, is what happened with the pandemic. So, and I think you're going to learn later on that most of the leaders were talking about that exactly. And therefore, since we have these leadership dimensions and challenges, there is a need to expand the effective leadership definition in our schools. And uh, the question really is like, how prepared are school leaders to address these issues that they are facing day by day? Now, for the significance of the study, so uh, this study has the potential to like promote value and social relevance, nation building, contributing to existing body of knowledge, and of course, improvement of teaching and the learning process, because that is the purpose why we have principals in schools, really. Um, the purpose is like for students to be able to like grow and develop well. Um, just a brief uh, methodology uh, summary. So we started with the research design and uh, we have decided to use qualitative and specifically the narrative inquiry. So um, we chose um, eight participants uh, from the secondary uh, district of Cebu City. And we use a semi-structured interview protocol that has been validated um, before it has been used uh, with our participants. The data collection happened um, in, on February 18 to 25 and July 17 to 28 of 2023. After that, there was a very rigorous um, analysis of the data. So at first we had to like transcribe um, word for word um, in total uh, the, the responses of the participants. And of course there was like organization of the responses and coding. And we used um, a, a tool to be able to code um, their responses. And of course, um, after that, there was a validation of the result. So we have an expert peer review and of course, member checking. So we, we give back the results to our uh, participants for them to be able to like validate it. And we have like research consultation also. So we have to like uh, look at the available uh, data and of course the research um, to like uh, compare the results that we have had. So the questions here, there are actually four questions and I'm gonna go with uh, each question as we move on and also show you the results. So the first question was, uh, what are the leadership experiences of Cebu City North District Secondary School principals? And uh, on the side, and because of the time, I'm not gonna read all those responses. Those are like sample responses, but the table here shows you that um, the principals actually were talking about learning from and interacting with other school leaders. Um, dealing with challenging and difficult teachers, dealing with classroom shortages and shortages of resources in general, and which is really true in public schools in the Philippines, um, leadership training and experiential um, learning. And in terms of the role of ethical and professional standards, so teachers were uh, talking about um, these standards as being models and guides um, for their practice, um, foundation for their success, and of course, developing integrity. The second question was, uh, what experiences are important to secondary school principals in terms of operating in a VOCA environment? Um, they have, we have like categorized their responses as the three uh, bigger themes. One is uh, on general impactful experiences. So they're saying that they're learning from 
um, other leaders and so on. So I, I have like uh, spoken to that one um, already, but we put it into uh, a, a figure so that it's easier for uh, people to be able to like see it. Um, I'm just gonna read like one here from Nate. By the way, we use like pseudonyms. So uh, those names are not really the real names of the principals um, for con confidentiality. So from Nate, um, as the pandemic swept across the country and around the world, schools in Cebu City and the whole country were forced to close to ensure safety of students and staff. From Mary, as a school, we were already grappling with the lack of teachers and we adapted at schools to reach out to our learners by producing modules, um, which by the way means creating and printing them in used quantities. I was already thinking that it would present a huge challenge for us. So that was, uh, those are example, um, the responses from our uh, participants. The third question was, what does effective leadership in a VOCA world mean to the Cebu City North Secondary School principals? So there are three categories again, or three themes. One is on effective school, uh, effective leadership contribution. And we have like school success, the quality of graduates and teacher development. The second theme is on effective leadership and uh, teacher, uh, sorry, um, principals were saying that leadership um, is both an art and craft. They were talking about visionary leadership, leading by example, being competent and committed and caring leaders, be, um, being instructional leaders, and of course, empowered leaders. And the third theme is effective school environment. So principals were talking about creating a child-friendly and safe environment, um, something that is conducive to learning, that has adequate resources and learning spaces, engagement of stakeholders, responsiveness to students' needs, and supportive stakeholders, and of course, high quality instruction. And the fourth one are the needs, the perceived needs of uh, school principals. So what needs, uh, that should be do, um, secondary school principals have to further develop as effective leaders in the VOCA world. So um, three uh, themes emerge uh, from the responses. One is conducting action research and data-driven leadership training. The other uh, need that they have identified is mentoring and coaching support. And the third one is developing effective leadership skills in the VOCA world. The next slide will be the output of one of the outputs of this program is the leadership navigation framework that we created. Um, this emerges from the responses of the school principals aimed at unraveling the intricate tapestry of their experiences, particularly focusing their general impactful um, encounters, volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous experiences, leadership perceptions, and perceived needs. So uh, this is uh, this framework actually leads into another output, which is the national and theoretical framework for leadership in the VOCA world. Um, if you notice here, because I am um, a math teacher also, so um, we use four quadrants, but um, don't be confused with the numbers. I know mathematically, this is not how we do quadrants, but uh, we just have the quadrant one on the upper uh, left side, and then quadrant two on the second one on the upper right side, and quadrant three, of course, um, lower right side, left side, and then the quadrant four is lower uh, right. Now, uh, the way this works is that Quadrant one and quadrant four are actually opposites. Um, so learning and development versus stagnation and regression. And quadrant two and quadrant three are also opposites. So strengths and abilities and the challenges and needs. What's beautiful about this one is this is very dynamic in, in a way that when you increase the strengths and abilities that the principals have um, identified, you can actually lessen the challenges and the needs that they are facing. Same with stagnation and regression, right? If you are increasing their learning and the development of these school uh, principles, you are going to lessen also the stagnation and regression of um, the, the, the principles that are they're, they're experiencing. So the effectiveness of secondary school principles within a VOCA environment is intricately linked to their ability to leverage personal strengths and abilities while actively pursuing continuous learning and development of leadership skills. And by placing a deliberate emphasis on their inherent strengths and abilities, these principles can significantly enhance the leadership impact, effectively addressing challenges and fulfill, 
and fulfilling the evolving needs within their educational institutions. Of course, uh, this theory is only applicable to the eight um, principles that we have identified. Um, apparently, when we are doing uh, research like this, uh, we cannot generalize it to uh, other regions or other places in the Philippines. So this can be only applied to this particular group. For recommendations, so we have like deliberate, uh, deliberate on the challenges and day-to-day -day activities, provide learning opportunities for all, uphold the steadfast commitment to students, proactively cultivate an effective school environment, establish robust leadership grounded in relationships, knowledge, and uh, experience, to demonstrate a commitment to high expectations, foster connections with the professional community and translate insights gained from conferences, classes, professional networks, or research to other schools into practical applications. Uh, for district leaders, we also recommended to facilitate coaching and mentoring because this has been identified by um, a lot of principals. Tackling the challenges of school principals, principalship by actively seeking professional development opportunities upholding and endorsing school principal decisions that align with a steadfast commitment to student well-being, incorporating a means to recognize or cultivate the effective behaviors of effective leadership in principal um, evaluations, and encouraging, supporting, or establishing professional networks. Uh, for future research, we wanted to have this replicated um, into a larger region or a different demographic group. Um, introducing an alternative qualitative method aside from what we use in here, a comparative study between newer principals, one to five years, and those with seasoned careers, 15 plus, might add an uh, additional dimension to the research. Broadening the scope uh, to include elementary school principals or making a comparative analysis that could introduce a new dimension to this study. Independent exploration of personal pursuit for continuous learning among principals expanding the study to examine the impact of effect, effective leadership behaviors from the principal's perspective and subsequently incorporating the teacher's viewpoint on the principals. And that would be all. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions, I'm willing to um, answer them.